Hi, recently I purchased this old computer. This is a ThinkPad T14 Generation 1. Uh, it was made in September 2020, which means that it's four years old now. But it's still quite a decent computer that you can find at really good price. And I needed a secondary computer, a laptop that I can carry around on places that are a little bit more dirty, so I shouldn't care too much about a computer. It came without an SSD drive, so in this quick video I'm going to show you how to tear it down and plug a brand new SSD in it. Step number one is to disable the built-in battery. Turn on the laptop, hit enter and after that from the startup interrupt menu press F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. Go to config and after that select power. Using the arrows go to disable built-in battery and hit enter. This way, you temporarily disable the battery for servicing the system. After selecting this item, the laptop will automatically turn off. Please note that the battery will be automatically enabled again when you plug the AC adapter. Step number two is to remove the base cover. A screwdriver is required. There are six screws that are holding the back cover. Using a screwdriver, loosen them. Please note that the screws are attached to the back cover and cannot be completely removed, you just need to loosen them. Some models of the ThinkPad T14 have a nano SIM card on the rear side of the laptop. If your laptop has such, make sure it is removed before proceeding. After that, extremely carefully, very very carefully, you have to remove the back cover from the plastic hooks that still hold it to the laptop. You can do this with a plastic pick or old credit card. It is also possible to do it with a flat screwdriver as I did, but there is a higher risk that you can slightly damage um, the plastic while doing it with a screwdriver. So although I did it with this flat screwdriver in the video, I recommend you to use a plastic pick or an old credit card. Step number three is to add the SSD. I purchased Samsung PM9B1 SSD with a capacity of 512 gigabytes and it is uh, capable of doing PCI Express 4 uh, and comes with a form factor of M22280. This is an NVMe uh, solid state drive. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I purchased this uh, ThinkPad as a second hand item from eBay, so it came without an, any SSD. If you're doing an upgrade, you need to remove the old SSD first and then place the new one. Locate the M2 slot on the motherboard, it is on the right side above the battery. Using a screwdriver, remove the small screw. Note the notch to indicate the right direction of the connector of the SSD and carefully plug it into the slot of the motherboard. Finally, fasten the small screwdriver. It will make sure that it's gonna keep the SSD in the right position. The final step of the hardware assembly is to actually put back the back cover of the laptop. Based on the previous experience with disassembling it, this procedure for assembling it back together is simpler and straightforward. Place it on the right position, click all plastic hooks and after that using a screwdriver fasten all the six screws on the back. Finally, let's do a quick test to make sure that the new SSD is actually detected in the BIOS settings of this laptop. Uh, first, I'm gonna plug the AC adapter in the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T14. This way, the built-in battery that we've initially disabled will be automatically enabled. After that, I've interrupted the normal start of the computer and entered the BIOS setup utility where I went to the boot device priority, the new a Samsung drive is listed there, so everything seems fine, and I can proceed with the next steps, which uh, are obviously to install an operating system on it. I'm a Linux user, so the next step is going to be to put an Ubuntu Linux distribution on this old T14 generation one laptop. Although this is getting older nowadays, it's still very capable laptop. You can get it for a really good price, especially on eBay nowadays. Uh, and I think um, I'll be using this, I hope I'll be using this for at least a couple of years as a secondary computer. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like this type of content, 
or if you're interested in Raspberry Pi single board computers and microcontrollers, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos.